Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Sammy Ketchum, and welcome back to Sammy Ketchum TCG. Tonight, we are going to be talking about my Orlando's Regionals Recap. That's right, my Orlando's Regionals Recap. All right? In this recap, we are going to be talking about my day one, my day two, um, people I met, all the homies from the Carolinas that I saw up there, um, you know, um, closing statement, closing statements, um, where I'm going to next, um, just like a general um, review of um, what happened, what went down at Orlando Regionals, you know, so that, you know, that's what we're going to talk about today a little bit. Um, I'm going to try to, I think, show some pictures at the end so you can see, you know, um, kind of, you know, how it all went down, you know, <laughs> but, um, well, without further ado, let's get into it. <laughs> All right. Um, the first thing I really want to talk to you about is, um, well, um, I was supposed to be in town Friday so that I could, um, you know, get my swag early, come to the venue, you know, scope out the place, you know, playing maybe some side events on Friday before Saturday. Um, that didn't end up happening. Um, I spent most of Friday traveling to get to Orlando because one of my, um, one of my buses was delayed. <laughs> yeah, so I got stuck in Atlanta and my bus was delayed overnight and I didn't get to, um, I didn't get to Orlando till after, um, till after the event hall closed. So I was just like, you know, there's really no point in me going up there, you know, to like get swag or anything. So I just decided to go back to, you know, go to my Airbnb, you know, just rest up, get some sleep because I really need to sleep because... I really haven't slept, you know, throughout the whole trip all the way down here. So I really need to sleep, you know. So I did that, tried to play test a little, and then wake up Saturday morning. So, you know, that's how Friday went. Um, I really wish I could have went to the venue Friday. Um, this was actually what I wore Friday. <laughs> along with my, um, um, my, um, um, Pokemon Levi's gear, but this is, this is the shirt that I would have worn, um, but this shirt is actually a brand new shirt from GameStop, um, that I actually saw Wednesday, the day before I actually, um, left the travel, because I left Thursday, you know, to travel, um, but um, this is a brand new shirt from GameStop that I wanted to kind of show off, you know, that was gonna start the weekend off, whatever. And I really didn't, you know, get to like show it off like I wanted to. <laughs> you know, it has like the um, first three starters on it. Charters, well, Evolutions. Charizard, Venusaur, and um, Blastoise down here. Um, but it's a really nice shirt. I really liked it. Um, never really got the you know, give it a good, you know, showing, you know, so I'm wearing it here. <laughs> I really liked it. So wore it on a trip. Um, other than that, um, that was pretty much it for Friday. Um, um, now Saturday, day one, man, I was hyped. I was hyped, I was ready. I had my deck list submitted, ready to go. Um, I start off actually really good. Um, I before, before the break, well, before the lunch break, 
I um, I think I was two, I was two one and one. I had two wins, one loss, and one tie, which wasn't too bad going into the break, you know, four rounds. Um, so I wasn't, you know, doing too bad. All right. Um, for the event, I played Lugia V-Star. Um, Lugia was definitely a great call for the event. <laughs> I mean, Lugia was a great call for the event. Not only was Lugia a great call for the event, um, I also took my um, <laughs> my Lugia plushie with me, um, <laughs> which everybody loved. I mean, I'm carried around the Lugia plush playing Lugia V Star. It was like, oh, if he isn't playing Lugia and he's got the Lugia plush, man, something is wrong. And I'm like, oh yeah, I'm playing Lugia. <laughs> And, and I'm doing pretty well with it, you know? Um, it is a very good deck. Um, um, as most of you guys know, six Lugia V-Star decks in the Masters division of the TCG was in the top eight. So six of the top eight was Lugia V-Star. Lugia basically dominated the tournament. Um, won the tournament. <laughs> <laughs> and it, it is it just it's just a very good deck just a very good deck just really just beat out all the odds most most lists including mine had basically um the counter to the counter you know the counters to the counter in there you know um you know ways to deal with you know, all the weaknesses, ways to deal with the other decks that have ways to deal with Lost Box, ways to deal with the um, the Paralyzing Stall and um, the Luminion Loop to help with control, things like that. Um, but this was a very good deck to play. Um, but yeah, um, started off pretty good. Like I said, 2-1-1 before the lunch break. I come back from the lunch break and man, it went all downhill, all down here. Um, um, I think I faced off against another, um, what was it? Um, Arceus, Flying Pikachu, Alolan Vulpix V-Star deck. Um, I think the first one I played against, I tied against. The second one I played against after the break, I think I lost against because I think like I had some unfortunate prizes, bad luck, just like awkward, awkward things were just going on. And I just, it just wasn't, it just, it just wasn't it for me. So I lost against that, which was like really weird. Um, and then after that, I played against the control deck, you know, Played against Control Deck, Yivatol, Yivatol and Friends. Um, that matchup was so, so unlucky, so unfortunate for me. Um, three, three of my Archeops were prized in that matchup. So I was only able to get out one Archeops and, you know, powering up my Pokemon, you know, to try to take down this control deck <laughs> and my opponent saw that and went right after my lone Archeops bossed it up and KO'd it took it right off the field and I, 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 I just basically just scooped right after that it was just there was no hope for me because after that all I was doing was attaching one energy Per turn, and every time I attach energy, they get rid of it. They Yiva tall it, they get rid of it. They they would sit in my hand, get rid of all the energies in my hand. They would, you know, just find a way to get the energy off my Pokemon that I just normally attach. And it, it the game was going nowhere. I was like, you know what? Yeah, I'm I'm <laughs> I'm done. And then after after my after my fourth loss, I was just like, I'm done. I'm done. There's just no way. 
There is no way that I could just continue playing. You know, so I dropped out. I dropped out of the tournament. Um, round seven, I dropped out. I, I was done. Like, I, I was just frustrated. I really was just frustrated. You know, um, all of my opponents were super nice, were super great, super, you know, you know, they were, they were all actually really decent opponents. Um, you know, I actually really enjoyed meeting all of them, talking to them, you know, finding out, you know, where they were from and, you know, hearing how their rounds before mine went and, you know, some of the decks and things that they faced. So, you know, like I really enjoyed, you know, playing and talking to my opponents, you know. Um, but, you know, but as far as the game is gone, game, the games were going, I, I was, I was just done. Me, me and my, me and my Lugia plushie were done. <laughs> so, um, that was really it for day one, you know, kind of like a bummer. I was just like, okay, um, Sunday, the next day I'll come back and maybe play in a side event or two. So, um, so now into Sunday. Sunday was a totally different story. Sunday, um, I came in, um, I think it was, it was around 8.59 o'clock. I barely, barely, barely made it, made it there just in time to enter the um the winner plush um the winner plush tournament winner plush standard tournament for the TCG and let me tell you man man I did so well I did so much better I was in a better mood um I was in a better mood like everything it was just so much fun like like everybody was just in a better mood um um nobody was stressed Everybody was there to play for fun, playing for the plushies. Like, my opponents were super great, super nice. Everybody was super friendly. You know, we were chit-chatting it up about just, you know, Pokemon matchups, everything. It was just great. It was just amazing and great. Um, I went, um, I went 4-3 in the tournament. We had seven rounds. We actually were supposed to have six rounds, but it went. But we had an extra round because I think some of the um, players, some of the top players playing for the plushies, had like the same record. So we had to play it out so that we would actually have, you know, a winner. <laughs> you know, without ties. So um, I went four three winning most of my games. Um, 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 the deck did amazingly well. Lugio was so good. Um, I faced off against a Lost Box deck. Actually, um, one of the Lost Box decks that I faced in the um, Winner Plus tournament was one of the same people that I actually faced in the tournament <laughs> the day before. <laughs> that I actually beat in one of my games. <laughs> but I mean, he was super nice. He was super chill, um, really great guy. Um, shout out to Victor, um, the Lost Box player. Um, really great sport. Um, love playing against you, man. Um, it's just unfortunate that <laughs> it was just a really bad matchup for you. <laughs> um, um, Stoutland, um, Reiku, um, just, Lugia just, just walked all over it, um, but, but kudos to my opponent, he was a really great guy, um, so I played against the Lost Box, I also played against a, um, also played against a, um, a Inteleon, I think it's Inteleon, Palkia, um, Articuno, Articuno Paralyzing Deck, um, 
I did really well against that too. Um, I had the Bird Keeper in my deck to get out of the paralyzation. So that was really good. Um, but yeah, I knew exactly what to do, exactly how to play against it, how to counter it. And I did my thing and it worked out. <laughs> um, I played against a Garatina deck. Um, I smoked that, smoked the Garatina deck. Um, but yeah, um, yeah, my Lugia deck did exactly what I wanted it to do for the most part. Um, and I got me some, um, I got me some tickets, you know, for the prize wall and got me some, you know, some decent prizes, you know. So yeah, I really, really enjoyed the Winter Plush Tournament. It, it literally took up my whole Sunday <laughs> because it was like freaking seven rounds. <laughs> And I couldn't play anything any in anything else. <laughs> Cause after I was done, all like um all the entries for the side events were over and I was like, man, oh okay, you know. <laughs> but <laughs> it was it was fine, it was good. It was really good. I really enjoyed it. Um let's see. Um, um number four, the people I the people I met um, at Orlando Regionals, some of the homies that I met, um, most of the people that I met were actually some of my fans from my YouTube channel. Um, some of, <laughs> some of the people who, um, liked my, um, Zero Aura, um, Zero Aura GX, I think it's GX, yeah, Zero Aura GX deck, I think. Um, my Thunder Tales deck um, that I had on the channel like years ago. Um, they really loved the Thunder Tales song. They really loved um, watching my content. Um, even if they, you know, even if they, you know, thought, you know, it was like a meme or whatever, you know, um, I, I just really, really just like interacting with, you know, most of the people who enjoy you know, watching what I do, you know. Um, so, um, yeah, I, I, I really enjoyed meeting those people who who liked, um, you know, my Thunder Tales video. And I guess, <laughs> yeah, me singing that Thunder Tales song. <laughs> I don't know if I would ever do another Thunder Tales song like that again, but <laughs> who knows, maybe in the future. Maybe in the future I'll revamp Thunder Tales. Um, so there's that. Um, some of the homies that, um, Carolina homies that I met up there um, that I'm usually pretty, you know, you know, good friends with. Um, Eric Smith, Eric Smith, um, really, really cool guy um, from Rare Candy. I talked to him for a bit. Um, um, I, um, talked to some of my local people that I saw, um, yeah, um, it was really, really chill, um, I, you know, I really enjoyed it, um, let's see, um, other than that, I mean, that was it, you know, <laughs> that was really it, closing statements, I really didn't enjoy Orlando. Um, the venue was like so big, so big. Um, they had decent food options. Um, a little expensive, but decent food options for people to, you know, eat, eat there. Um, venue was big enough. <laughs> There's a lot of people, um, almost, um, almost 1,400 masters. Um, yeah, almost 1,500 masters um, in the TCG. Um, had a decent showing of VGC, VGC players and Pokemon Go players as well. Um, but yeah, the biggest regional, the biggest regional ever, like massive amount of people 
um, I, I just enjoyed being back at regionals. It was actually my first regionals of this season. And I'm really looking forward to going to more. Um, you know, um, the next thing for me is I'm going to be going to Knoxville regionals. So um, if you're going to Knoxville, hopefully I'll see you guys there. <laughs> and I'll also be at Charlotte, um, my hometown. <laughs> so <laughs> I'll be repping my hometown there. Hopefully I can do well, you know, <laughs> hopefully I can do well here. <laughs> and then after that, who knows? <laughs> we will see after that. Um, other than that, um, that is the video. Um, I'm gonna see if I can, um, you know, show some clips from the Atlanta Regionals. But other than that, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, mischief managed.